Hello, everyone. Welcome to a Friday night stream from your good buddy, your bosom pal, your friend, your comrade, your partner in crime. It's me, Amigo Aaron. I'm excited about this one. If the internet will hold up, I've worked long and hard this week, and we're going to be playing games uh, from the ZX Spectrum library of games. Now, uh, we will not be using emulation, uh, even though we have. I mean, we don't, there's no problem with it. But I worked long and hard this week to get up and running the emulation, the FPGA simulation of the ZX Next on my Unamiga. It was a difficult task. I'm not going to lie. I hit a lot of dead ends. It was a real pain, and I'm not fully tested everything. So this could be an unparalleled calamity, which would be par for the course if you caught our earlier show. But, be that as it may, never let it be said that I'm not willing to take a chance, take a risk, walk out in a limb, uh, or uh, tiptoe in the precipice of a pit. And we are going to walk trepidatiously into the land of the ZX Spectrum tonight and give this a shot. So help me uh, learn some Spectrum. I'm going to be using, I mean, it's going to be sort of like working with an actual Spectrum here. So I'm probably going to need some tips, and I'm going to need to know all the tricks as we roll in. So let's head over and check out the, the FPGA Unamiga's version of the ZX Next. Here we go. So what you see right there is just a effectively a screen saver here. I'm going to activate our rear camera, and then we will fire this sucker up. Uh, I will tell you that uh, I bought the um, <clears throat> what effectively was a it was called a hat uh, for for the uh, for the Amiga that was would allow me to. Uh, to run games from the uh, NES, the C64, the MSX, uh, and the ZX Next. Now, uh, the NES emulate uh, the NES implementation of FPGA, eh, it's a little, it's a little wacky. Uh, the uh, uh, C64 uh, seems okay, except for the fact that it doesn't let me use any sort of fast loads, and so. What I've got is a simulation of a CD a C64 that's much much slower than my actual C64, which so there you go. I never use it, and I have yet to get the MSX uh, uh, aspects of the FPGA working uh, due to the fact that I'm having trouble understanding what format the SD card needs to be in. Uh, but I'll I'll figure it out. But I did after much uh, much Maloney, I got this thing going. So we're gonna switch over. I've got the uh, I've got the item already fired up, and I thought it would be kind of neat to just look at the actual. I, I me personally, I've never seen an and uh, the next before, and so I thought it'd be kind of neat to just look at what the next looks like when it boots up and whatnot. So I'm going to flip over to the the next here. Let me uh, turn this off, and here we go. <clears throat> this would be your. By the way, good good evening, fellas. Thanks for joining me. Um. So what we've got here is uh, your boot up screen for the next. And by the way, if there's any, of course the uh, uh, the Spectrum's uh, audio is as it is this. So, but if it gets too loud, uh, just drop me a line. You guys know the routine. So this is the menu, or this is the once you actually set the video to what you want, uh, and it comes up with a test pattern and it flicks through before, and it lets you pick out the one that's, that suits you. Uh, and I will say, I've got this running from the Unamiga. Uh, if you look here to my immediate left, let me move myself out of the way a little bit here. This is the Unamiga right here. It's hanging uh, on the side of the shelf. And this right here is the little, is the little top hat, the, the hat that goes on it. And then you can see uh, all the accoutrement on the back, stereo sound, uh, PS2 keyboard and mouse, and VGA. And the VGA, oh, I should mention, as always, I'll be using my cheap, three dollar wireless nes uh controller um anyhow um uh the uh, unamiga has vga only and so to properly capture this device uh, i've got it running through a 
uh, the open source scan converter, w which was sent to me. Uh, in fact, he sent myself and Boat one. Uh, it was a very expensive. It was a very generous offer from Rushi, and we appreciate that. Every time you see me come live with one of these things, it is taking place solely on the basis that Rushi allowed it uh, and, and was kind enough to send me one of these OSSCs. Anyway, it goes to the OSSC into my Elgato old-school capture device. And so that's what you're seeing. And, and what you're going to see, unlike the Amiga, so far as I've been able to tell, is that uh, this shouldn't have the screen differences that you normally would see on FPGA. This thing runs at a pretty solid. So the screen should say pretty much complete and full. So this is the opening screen you would see on the ZX Next, presumably. And you can actually go through here, and there's a whole line. I mean, this is brilliantly done, this. Uh, you could go, in fact, I'll just go, kind of go through it real quick. And you can, hit, you can see here, it's the inner, uh, it gives you information, and it gives you all the menu items and whatnot. Now, of course, <coughs> what you're going to see is, is uh, instructional material that is effectively made to instruct you in the use of the ZX Next, the brilliant uh, new computer. Uh, that this uh, OS comes from. So some of the stuff won't apply. Uh, the ZX Next has certain buttons and whatnot that uh, um, obviously we don't have. We're just using the gate old Gateway PS2 keyboard, the oldest, clunkiest keyboard that you'll ever see. There it is. Uh, but it, it does the job. This also gives you the ability to use a mouse with certain things, which I haven't experimented on that, but I heard people talking about how neat that was. But use a mouse on certain stuff. Uh, by the way, this keyboard balanced precariously on top of my Coco. So if you hear a kilometer crash, that's what happens. But anyway, you can skip through this, and this will give you all sorts of information. I mean, this is like a, an onboard manual. I just think it's dandy. Because they could have phoned it in at this point, but these guys uh, these guys aren't screwing around. Uh, so uh, um, you've got a nice layout here. It gives you all the information you want. Okay? And then... Once we've gotten that done, you can go. I mean, this goes on forever, and you can see you can disable this, but I usually leave it on. Uh, so once we have figured this part out, now I will say we got a question here. I have never played much of anything on the ZX Spectrum Smash, if you want the truth, but you've got some educated folks in the chat room there. Uh, I, I'm not familiar with Camelot. He's asked if I've played Camelot. I have. I have not. Uh, so. All that aside, we can hit we can hit the space bar to start the uh, OS, and then you're going to get this. Now, uh, my uh, interfacing with an actual ZX Spectrum has been limited because, um, yeah, <laughs> obviously. But I mean, we didn't do that one, boat. Um, most of what I've played on the Spectrum has been through emulation, and so uh, that so that right there will tell you something that I I've not actually fiddled with the actual a piece of hardware very often, to be completely honest with you. It's just not something I've had the pleasure of doing. And so, uh, uh, I'm learning on the job, basically, as, as as it were. But it's fun. I've had a good time just kind of tooling around with it and, uh, and uh, you know, seeing seeing how things work. But so what you've got here is, a, is basically a built-in browser to sort of let you uh, figure out what you want to do with your file. So... Some of this stuff's pretty self-explanatory. This gets you your command line. They've got a calculator in here. We can hit more. You've got your tape loading stuff. Your different all this stuff, all sorts of really neat uh, aspects. But one thing I like about this is it sort of will tell you what you need to do. So we're going to go to browser. And by the way, what I need to do is nothing but play games. That's all I'm here for. Games, games, and more games. So we're gonna hit the browser button here. Now, uh, when I put this together, it came with. I downloaded the official card. We'll go back and look, and I'll show you what's on here. So, and I'm presuming that this is uh, uh, the official kit as to um, as to what would come with the actual ZX Next. I mean, but again, I am no authority. But you get this little SD card. It's got demos, docs, dots, X. As you can see, what it's got on here. And um, I added pokes because I know you could load pokes, game pokes on here. And then uh, I also added some stuff to games. <clears throat> the games that came with here were your classic 128 games uh, for the 128K, and then you got your 48K. Then you've got some stuff for the next, which I really haven't tried any of that stuff yet, so maybe we'll try some. I like the fact that you can 
uh, simulate the ZX81 on here. And then I put this TOSEC on here. That was a big mistake because the TOSEC was several gigs of, of games and it was too much. It just takes forever to sort. And so don't do that. What I, what I need is a good curated list because if you know anything with the TOSEC collection, you're going to have 10 versions of one game and 10 versions of the next game. So one of these days, or I'm sure I can talk to somebody that will get me a nice curated list of of the of the games that I that I that uh, I I can all have in one big thing here. But I did put together a little collection of about 250 games, just a little one that I thought we could draw upon tonight that that loads very quickly. So we'll go into that collection now. Really, and Boat mentioned this. Uh, um, <clears throat> My interaction with the ZX Spectrum, for the most part, has been on our show, R. Sinclair. And we've done about 70 games on there, according to what Boat just told me. So, uh, what I'll do is, I'll, I'm going to pick something I know to start off with. And then I'm just going to let people uh, have a look and see if there's stuff on here they want to, to, to look at. Now, you can see the setup here. It's quite nice. Uh, you just click through these. You can click left and right to get through the list quicker. You know? And, uh... Which I think is cool. So I'm gonna let's just try something we're familiar with here, and let's try. <laughs> There's Camelot Warriors uh, Smash. I'm guessing that's not the same thing as you're talking about. Uh, let's try something simple. Let's try uh, Barbarian. All right, we now we've all played Barbarian, right? We're gonna try Barbarian One. Now I've I've moved the cursor over top, and I'm gonna hit Enter, and theoretically this should load. <clears throat> okay. And it should load uh, with uh, the proper... Yes, there we go. All right. Now, some games support joystick and some do not. Um, we're going to play one player. And we'll see if this one... Okay. The Kempton joystick, so far, every time I've tried it, has worked with this. They've already taken care of that for me. Now, this thing has a whole slew of in onboard commands and in-game stuff that you can do. I haven't fooled with very much. So we're going to just go with the Kimston here. <clears throat> and then we'll start the game. And here we go. It's Barbarian, man. It's it, it's Barbarian with my inability to, to move my guy. There he goes. My joystick is timed out. There we go. This guy's all over me like a cheap suit. I know how to get out of this... You chop this sucker's head off. This looks like you would expect. Again, I'm not... I don't think we ever covered this one. Come on, give it to me. Come on. Now the... the, the uh, there it is. Bam! Now, of course, anyone that knows anything about the next knows that, it, uh, among other things, it will give you the ability to speed up the game and to get rid of the color clash. Uh, in the game. I've not really, basically, I've not fooled with any of those effects. In fact, maybe we'll try some uh, here in a, in a little bit. Right now, I wanted to get out of the gate with anything <laughs> to make sure that we were going to be okay. Uh, so far, I will say everything I've tried has worked. It's worked. Uh, it looks sharp. Uh, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Picard, for your Listen, I can't. This guy's got me in the corner. I can't see nothing. Um, but uh, if you're familiar with the spectrum, uh, I, I've used plenty of emulators. Man, I got I got crushed. But I like this. This this is so much. I'm not sure ZX Spectrum emulation is 100% accurate. Now I I don't have anything to base that on. But I've always had all kinds of trouble with it. So for me, a, a point-and-click alternative is good. By the way, you can control the menus with the joystick as well. Now, in-game, there are certain things you can do. I'm going to try to hit the right button here to see if I can find the menu. Don't panic if things go haywire. Okay, bam. F9. <clears throat> so you can see what you've got here. You've got, uh, you can take snapshots, screenshots. Uh, you can change the settings. And this is all with the joysticks. And see, you can change here. Now, you can see at the top. See at the top, I can change the way it runs from here as well. So, we're running at the standard speed. 
just for fun, let's try going up to the 7 megahertz speed and seeing what that does. Let me see if I can get out of here now. Okay. And you can see all these different options here. Just tons of options. Two button support as well. So let's see what happens here. It may not make a bit of difference, but just for fun, we'll try it. To me, it looks about the same. I, I know you can change these in game, but I know on some games it does a lot of games it doesn't it doesn't you can't really see much of a difference. But we'll fool around with it just for fun. Like I said, this is really the first time I've ever tried it. Does anyone uh, currently in the chat uh, have a ZX Next or have a FPGA version or like are familiar with it? I'd be interested to to uh, get some tips on maybe what to try. I wish I could remember how to play this game. I'm definitely going to try to play something I'm a little less clunky at. Swing low. I can usually beat the first couple guys. There he goes. Did you stop with that trip crap? Oh, man. And he had to kick me in a rump to boot. All right, so I'm going, I'm going to switch games at this point. Now, there may be better in-game solutions than what I do. What I do is hit F5, F4, excuse me, and F4, what it effectively does is reboot to this screen. So I'm assuming that's what you're supposed to do. It's what I've always done. Okay, so we're back here. Familiar ground. We're going to uh, hit the space bar again. Now you can see you can always change the speed here. So this time around, we're going to change the speed early. Let's put it on, let's try something real crazy. Let's put it on 14. I'm trying to think what we've played on here that was, was kind of slow. Let's try a, a driving game. Let's try Chase HQ, okay? I don't remember that one going at a particularly fast clip, so we'll try that one. Okay, now, I've been told that when you're on this screen, um, okay, you can, is, you can hit the zero button is the best one to do it. So let's try it. I've told... I've. I, that's what I've read, that that's the one you should use. Now, right now, it's trying a couple different methods of running this. Okay, okay, and see, right now, it's looking for something we don't have. So, the, I think, when I, I have seen this happen, and I think when that happens, you're, there are certain file formats that only are supposed to run with the with the, with the, with the Pi attachment. So, again, this is a learning process. We'll, so, we'll try something else here. First thing I want to try doing is running that same program without fooling with it. So, let's see if it gets in that same menu. Because this menu doesn't always come up. So what we're going to do now is we will try... Um, let's try the um, 128 mode and see how that works. I'm just curious to see how, how it's going to work. Yeah, I got it working, Brock. I sure did, bud. Okay, we're going to try... Let's try 48K mode and see how that does. Yeah, when you see the message about the Pi... You can actually get a, a, a Raspberry Pi Zero and that what you install into a ZX Next. And it provides something that I'm not sure about. I can't remember. It's been so long since I looked into it. So, so And I know some uh, it has something to do with the file format. So there, I may have some file formats on here that aren't that aren't compatible. But that's okay. Uh, we will uh, we'll try again. Now, I know there are, there are, there are, one thing about the Pi... Or one thing about the the next is they've added in all these different methods. You can you can effectively run anything, even if it gives you trouble, if you know what you're doing. With some pretty easy things, which I don't know what I'm doing. So there you go. So we'll try running something else then. Let's try Bruce Lee. I see it here. And if you've got a favorite in the chat room that you'd like to see, that you think I could handle something relatively simple, feel free to shout it out. Now you notice that time it didn't ask me any questions. It just loaded. Which I like it when it does that, because I I'm not I don't have the ability to answer questions, <laughs> so it works good. Yeah, well I yeah it uh, I've, but doesn't it it does some other stuff doesn't it retro I'm, I don't know that may be all it does for all I know. Okay, so we got Bruce Lee here. This is a, a of course a classic game. Anyone that knows anything about me and the boat, we both love this game. So we're gonna put it on Kimston, one player computer opponent. I've got the joystick powered up here. Enter to begin. 
and that's it. Bam, we're playing. It's that simple, man. And it plays great. Now, I don't know how this looks. I don't know. How, I mean, I think it looks pretty good on the uh, on the stream. But I can tell you that if you were if you were to have a uh, one of the, uh, if you were to have the uh, uh, if you were to have this local, you know, is it not streaming? It looks quite good. I mean, it really, it's as sharp and as beautiful as as you could probably imagine. Uh, I doubt there was ever a spectrum on Earth that looked as clear and as and as beautiful as this one does. It's quite remarkable, actually. It really does breathe a whole new life into the uh, into these games. Uh, again, having played these with emulation, and, and I know there's emulators out there better than what I've used in the past, but what I've used has not been very good, and it's nice to be able to it's nice to see these things to play at full screen and in, in their uh, in, in very crisp. I mean, I have to say it's a, it's really it's a it's a it's a miracle uh, affair. I really should have fooled with this a long time ago, but when I for those that haven't followed my Unamiga exploits, it has not been an easy road to hoe for me. The my Unamiga came uh, with some issues that I had to repair. And then when this hat came, it also had some issues that I had to look into. Uh, and ultimately, I had to get in there and, you know, get the elbow grease out and kind of figure out how to do it. But uh, once I got the Amiga itself working, I was fairly confident that there, everything else would be okay because I, I knew I'd installed. One of the things you have to do with this 1.4 Amiga with the hat is to actually go in and hook this thing up with a USB blaster and update the firmware but that went pretty well there you go uh, that very good retro retro just spelled it out for us right there guys the uh, pi allows the uh allows the uh, zx to play tz uh x files it converts analogs so that's the ones i've been trying to load probably that's almost certainly what the problem was so thanks for the tip there dude this place real nicely I'm very pleased with with the uh, I something else I like about this is that for a dumb guy like me I mean one thing you gotta understand is again I'm not played with a, a real spectrum this much and I like the fact that this thing's I mean I'm not ashamed to say that I need my hand held for some of this stuff it's if, if you don't grow up with it it's it can be confusing I grew up I grew up playing uh, Machines, you know that I loaded off tape and stuff, but it's been a long time and and they're different than the spectrum It's a whole different world and I've watched boat load some stuff, but it's been a long time Come on come on come on. Yeah You know, I mean obviously this doesn't have the colors that one would uh, uh oh Oh, yeah That you would see on like the coat or like the uh, c64 or the uh, uh, Atari version, but it absolutely plays quite well. I mean, it's amazing to sit here playing, um, you know, VGA levels of Spectrum, you know, right here in my house with a wireless remote <laughs> joystick. <laughs> it appeals to me. Oh, right in the head. I was not aware that the that the uh, the next gave you uh, the ability to play the ZX81 stuff. So I'm excited about that as well, because we've covered that on 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 uh, ARG, and uh, that's that system's got some underrated stuff on it. I think. I mean, I, there I, we found a couple good things on there. Okay, I think we can slip through here. I always thought it was strange that they made a Bruce Lee game where Bruce Lee doesn't really, effectively doesn't beat up anybody and pretty much gets perpetually crushed by anyone that fights him. <laughs> There's something about this game, though, man. I, don't, I can't put my finger on what it is. It's just always been a favorite of mine. We covered this. Oh, son of a gun. That's it. I like that, though. Outstanding.
And again, you know, this is a good game to try our experiment on, I think. Let's go here, and we're going to... That was running at 7 megahertz. Let's really crank it up. And I don't. I think this does it on the fly, so we'll find out. Let's see if we can tell a difference if we crank it up. If not, we'll try doing it before, and we'll see how that works. I should have put it on keyboard. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any noticeable difference there. So let's just for fun, just for experimentation purposes. And I would almost guarantee this is the first stream ever that had the Unamiga running this. So we're breaking new ground here. I, I think we'll be allowed a little bit of leeway when it comes to what we do. So I think we're going to try and actually jack this up ahead of time just for fun. So set the browser here. What's up, Mitsuyama? How's it going, my friend? So um, let me see how we do this. Because before it gave me the option let's see here well i don't think it will so let's i don't know if we're going to do it like we want to or not let's see here that's 28 let's try that now i know some of this stuff is related to the clock to the clock ghost ghouls and ghosts good choice we will try that one next. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to make a difference. But I, from what I've read, that's not unusual. This is at 28. Can anybody tell a difference? This ran pretty well anyway. So, All right, let's move on, and we'll try Ghouls and Ghosts for fun. When you see it say no signal, that's just my uh, capture device for when this thing's changing commands. So... Let's see if I, and I we'll see if we've got ghouls and ghosts. I don't I by no means do I have a complete collection. So we'll see. Oh, we got ghosts and goblins. Do we have ghouls and ghosts? We don't. Let's try ghosts and goblins and see how that goes. And you can see there are some of those TZXs in here. So yeah, that validates what you said, uh, retro. Let's see what this looks like. Hey, John Marshall. What's going on, my friend? We are playing ZX Next and ZX Spectrum games on the Unamiga, John. So, okay. I always like the one that lets you pick the yes. So far, Kempston's worked every time. And then we will start game. This game in the arcade, and I think every rendition of it is the hardest thing ever. I may have spoke too soon. It's not letting me... Oh, here we go. Okay. Wow, this is actually... I don't recall covering this one. This this is not bad. Not bad at all. I like how the zombies come out of the ground. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, shoot. Pizza dough. Outstanding. I definitely don't recall that in the arcade where they come out of the ground like that. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. I will not get far on this, but I will do my best. The jump, I mean, it actually controls pretty well with up for jump. I was, I'm just kind of surprised. Man, that part right there is brutally tough. The very first sort of tough thing you come to and I get slaughtered. Ah, yes. Very good. This is one of the reasons I was desperately wanting to stream this because I figured the people that would show up in my stream would be, would know so much more about it than I did. And I, I am certainly, I need all the help I can get uh, when it comes to learning how what I'm doing. <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. It's a boat. I'm kind of surprised too. Can you guys hear the sound such as it is? I, I'm assuming it's coming through. You know, shoot, I got killed. Beautiful. I haven't tried any of the ZX Next stuff. Uh, so that's something I want to definitely give a shot. I know they've made some pretty big uh, uh, improvements. Kind of interesting to see what it can do now. Alright, sucker. Not this time. Hey, I finally learned something. Oh, I remember this guy. Yeah. 
Get these guys coming out of the ground. It's tough. Okay. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to duck that guy. Son of a gun. I like the fact that this gives you 60 lives. The specky squirt sound. That's exactly... If you were going to say... I, that is the sound. The squirt noise. It's funny. I was watching a guy do some 7800 reviews. The Atari 7800. He was doing a couple games for it. And uh, the Atari 7800 was, was sort of... The, it predates the NES. I mean, in terms of its production, not in terms of its release. And the sound on it, to keep it backwards compatible with the Atari... They had the bright idea of keeping the Atari sound chip from the original 2600 in there. And so the sound on it is is not good. And anytime you achieve anything with decent sound on it, it's because people have added extra hardware to the to the uh, to the cartridge. And I was pondering which uh, which sound I I liked less, the Atari 7800 sound or the ZX Spectrum sound. And I think the Atari Atari One. I mean, they did a lot with what they had, but man, it's it's a pretty bad sound. And we, and the graphics are so much better than the twenty the twenty six hundred. You expect good sound. That's ir that's what the irritating part of it is. Of course, the seventy eight hundred was a disaster right out of the gate. Just they, you know, a foolish thing that was released. A lot of people don't know that uh, a Tremel. Uh, I'm kind of thinking who it was. It was the same people that worked on the original. I think it was GCC, General Computers. Same people worked on Miss, the Miss Pac-Man kits and stuff. And they built this the uh, 7800, and he refused to pay them for it for the longest time. It was, which is a very Tremel thing to do. And there was litigation, of course, as there would be. I'm just about done with this game. Not because it stinks, it's because I stink. I mean, it's so hard. All right, I'm gonna move. Well, you know, that's a good question, John. This is a good time to find out, I think. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at a next game here. They included some games. I don't know if they're demos or or what they are. I've been I've I think the sound and the graphics are supposed to be better, so Oh, elevator action. I wanna try that next time we get back in here. Let me go back to the uh I'm sure there's a quicker way to back out of these directions, but I don't know it yet. And so I'm just gonna go back to the dots. This is running on the Unamiga. Yes, there's a. I bought a little thing that gives the, this the ability to run these. Okay, so here we have games that are, are called Next. Now, will these work? I don't know. Uh, and what, are they any good? I don't know that either. Let's try. Listen, I can't turn out a game called War Hawk. That sounds good. What's up, Canadian retro things? So we're gonna try War Hawk here. Okay. Now, from what I read, the next files should just run without me doing anything. Now, if this just goes blank or whatever, it could happen. We don't know. Or it doesn't support the stick. Okay. Rusty Pixel. I'm hoping we'll hear some cool sounds or something. I don't know how long these things take to load. Okay, good. If anyone has played this, I would be interested to know how to start it because what I'm doing is not working. Let's see if we can still access this other menu here. We can't. So I think it has it has froze up. Interesting. Let me reset it here and we'll try another one. Now, despite the fact that this runs ZX stuff, it's possible that the Unamiga simply cannot run Spectrum Next stuff. What's up, Fatal Fury? What's going on? So we're going to try another one here. Let's try... Um, has anyone played any of these? Let's try uh, Next AP. That sounds simple. Into the, oh, that's a tap. I don't know if we can run those or not. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Okay, it's gonna be so. I I think we determined that we can't run these, didn't we? Let's. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, okay. Hold the phone. 
Hold the phone. No, we got it. Press fire. Oh. Okay. I don't know what fire is on this. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Holy smokes. Dude, this is something real sort of demo-y. 2W. My God. What was... What were they smoking when they put this together? Okay. It's up and... It's uh, down. Huh? 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 This is kind of, uh... Kind of, uh... Generic looking. I'm not gonna waste my time on this, but it did run it. Let's try another one here. So that that's a good thing. Maybe we just got a dud there at the beginning. Yeah. Tap. So listen, I can't... It's all, it's all Greek to me, Retro. Um... Let's try, uh, so we did, it did work. So let's try something like, uh, uh, I want to play something like Night Night. Good name, too. This is a demo. Now, we're going to hit it and see what happens. Night Night, okay. That's good. Juan Martinez, I, I know he's, uh, very renowned. This looks good. Okay. I don't know what those little bars mean. I hope that's not important. <laughs> now you can hear the music. Oh, look at this, guys. Okay, you know, I think... I, I, I think I saw this played somewhere. In fact, someone played this on stream. I know I was watching. This is sort of like a Pac-Man game where you have to fill up all the uh, squares, I believe. It worked, though, by God. Now, I don't know what... See, I see some yuckaroo kicking in there. I don't think that would be part of the game, but who could say? I remember seeing this and thinking this looked like an interesting puzzle affair. Oh, I didn't realize I had to get this stuff. Yeah, so if I get that last st st uh, strip, I'll be golden. See, I'm going to have to go all the way around. There's a the key. And then... Oh, and then I get killed like an idiot. Did I run out of time? I think I literally ran out of time. It crashed. But it sort of worked. <laughs> Let's try another one. That's not bad, though. That, that, yeah. That's not bad. Oh, not City Connection. Don't get him started, Mitz. Let's try another one here. Again, some of these, your mileage is going to vary. I like the fact that we're always able to come to bring this back out of a crash. Let's try Angry Bloaters. Bam. Let's see what we get here, okay? Doing stuff. Things are happening. Up. Okay. No. No angry bloaters. I'm going to go on the assumption that there are things that the, the actual next can do that the they have not figured out on the FPJ, at least on this thing. Let's try the Hall of Things. Okay. Play the game. Play Blitz Paul. Change the game options. Okay, I don't see anything here about the actual ski layout. Let's see what that is. Let's see here. Let's go with uh, two. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff in here. Well, let's just see what the game looks like then, shall we? If we can. Okay. I don't know what that means. Oh, we're playing. Okay. Oh, oh, you know, I think I saw this play the other night as well. I must have seen a stream of this stuff. So, we're going to get gold. 
Okay. Whoa! I keep dropping gold. I don't want to do that. I can't seem to go right. That seems to be a problem. Well, looks like we're going to go left into this dead end room. Oh, there he goes. I guess I, I don't know why I couldn't go right. Stuff doesn't appear to be hurting me. I'm assuming no one here has played this one. Ah, got a sword. This looks... Hmm. It doesn't look like it's that vast of a change from the original ZX. And you guys would know better than me. Alright, I'm just going to move on here. Let's try another one of the new ones here while we're doing this. Then we'll go back to the classic stuff. So, let's see, that was Hall of Things, Lords of Midnight, that I played. Now, it looks like there's a, huh, MD and an X. Let's try that. Oh, my, that looks good. Yeah. So, this is a pretty famous and popular game. Whoa! Whoa! I think we've, we've entered the abyss on that one. Well, so no Lords of Midnight. That's a bummer. I was kind of looking forward to that one. Can't have it all. Okay. Let's try. And if anyone comes across uh, a, a little tidbit that uh, you might that you think might help me, drop me a line. This one's in basic. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not what I had in mind. Ignore that. <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> That's more of a Hermsky sort of... That's a, That's a Hermsky joint there when you get into the basic program. Well, let's try uh, Santa's Pressy. Bam. Okay. Yeah. Sound is good. It's a shame that it's a it's a blocky disaster. <laughs> Use your imagination. I'm sure that's snow. <laughs> Sounds good though, but that's it. Gone. Yeah, the sound is quite nice, isn't it? It's a far cry from the smoochy sound we were talking about earlier. All right, we're going to try one more of the new ones, and then we'll get back to the stuff that we know to work with. Let's try Revival Survival. I've been to a few revivals in my time, and so sometimes you need some sort of help. Uh-oh. We didn't have good luck with his last effort. Oh, hold the phone. Things are percolating. Maybe. Maybe not. I think we got a dud here. I don't think we got any action. So, what do we determine, boys and girls? The next software support? Eh, not so good, Al. Uh, I don't know why. So, well, that's something to look into. Listen. Uh, as I mentioned before, we could be some of the first people ever trying this stuff on an Unamiga. You know, so... <laughs> I hope with this... I'm saving this for posterity. Laugh it up, Picard. You know, I saw something on the ZX game list that I've got to try. One of my old favorites. And then, again, I'm I'm offering myself up to you game-wise. Because if it's a ZX Spectrum game you'd like to see me play that I've got on here. And I've got a goodly amount. I will play it. Let's see if this works. Good old elevator action. Yeah. Look at that. And we'll go with Kimston. And there we go. Look at that. Holy crap. That looks... It's got a freaking helicopter, man. 
There he is. I wore this game out in the arcade. I'm not ashamed to admit it. It's funny. These guys are actually more detailed. <laughs> Why is the elevator not coming down? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> okay. Let's see if... Oh, there it is. Man, that elevator's slow. I gotta get on that thing quick. They got the bricks the right color. You've never played this game. You're a secret agent, and you have to uh, you have to go in these rooms. Let's see if we can figure out how to get. Here we go, and you get the secret plans. Kill the bad guys. You've got to get all the red doors. Oh, this is just dandy. This is just dandy. The elevator is slower than Christmas, though. It didn't even come up here. Yeah, the elevator acts differently than any time I've ever played this before in any game. Okay. I like the fact that it gives you a scoring number when you kill guys. That's cool. Not bad. Movement's, movement's good. Anybody played this much? Uh, how many How many ZX Spectrum owners do we have in here? I didn't see anybody that had an X. Yeah, you gotta learn to duck in this game. Your character's got a more, more of a schnoz than I'm... Okay, now we gotta figure out how to get down the stairs here. There he goes. Look at that. Man, he's a lot quicker than this. Oh, no! I figured you might have him, man. I figure a lot of people that have Spectres are probably already in bed of our crew, but hopefully they'll see this when I post it up. Okay. We're getting near the bottom here. I'll play this and see if I can get to the car. I do like this, though. It's not bad. I've played some... Listen. Stare action. No. No! Oh, dead gummit. So you've got a next mitts. Um, let me ask you. I'm glad you chimed in. Um, have a lot of the new next games... How would you... Um, how would you uh, rate their... Uh, what the next library consists of right now? Like, how, am I getting, if I can't play any of the new next stuff, am I getting screwed? I mean, is there a lot of good titles in there? I'd be interested to know. And you, also, I'd like to know if you have one ones with the pie in it. I know those were the expensive ones, right? They had the pie. Come on, get down. Go down. Don't stop. You can't, you don't have time to screw around this one, man. They go quick. Oh, that's going to be a pain to butt. Up. I'm having trouble getting him to duck occasionally, so I don't know if it's a situational thing or... There we go. I was worried about that. Oh, thank God. I tried to jump. I couldn't do it. I think there are some areas where you just can't... You just can't... You know, Oh, shoot! Where you can't duck or jump, so that is a problem. I wonder if you can shoot the lights out. Doesn't look like you can. Okay, man, that's good to know. I know there were a lot of people that were talking about some what uh, were supposed to be really good titles, and I'm interested in seeing what they can come up with. Yeah, have you? Hey, Mitts, have you fooled a lot around a lot with the uh, fooling with the speed? Uh, and it has and have you noticed how often that makes a difference? Yes. A little glitchy there at the bottom, but we got out. Bam. All right. Oh, that, I like it. My first ever play of that, I did pretty good. All right, let's move along. Anyone want to see anything on here? Oh, I've also got demos. If you'd like to see some demos, I'd be more than happy to try those out for you. I'm, I've seen very few demos.
Yeah. Can you can you give us a tip off on a couple mitts that maybe we could try to see the effect? I'd be interested in trying a couple. You know, uh, let's see what we can find here. Dead Chase. Oh, Death Chase. That I know. I know that one. Yes, let's try that. Now, should we should we tinker with the... Let's play it straight up, and then we'll tinker with the speed on it. If this is the game, I, as I recall, where you run through the trees. Yes, this is the one. In fact, we just saw this played on the Coco. Uh, the Dragon 32 version of it. I remember this is actually the very first episode of Arson Player we did with this game. And uh, it was very impressive. But man, this is so much nicer to play on the emulator. <laughs> it's so much, it looks so much better. We were talking that the Coco version, this has a, of course, this has a day and a night cycle. The Coco version has sort of a, uh, yeah, but you remember, eh? Uh, the, the Coco version of this actually has a, 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 a winter area. Kurtz was telling me it was implemented strictly because it was an easy palette swap for the Coco. <laughs> Stick it in there. Kind of cool. Hey, use what you got. I would like to see this go faster. I can see why this would be a good candidate here. Hey, Mitsuyama, since you're here, also, I would like to see if you see anything on... I mean, obviously, we saw a lot of glitchery and stuff, but if you see stuff that's on, that doesn't feel right to you, let us know. I just said, for in terms of the accuracy of the FPGA on this. As far as I know, I'm using the newest version of everything, and the, uh, everything should be completely up to spec. Look at this. I'm in a fan spot. Yeah, I knew I wouldn't get out of that one. I'm gonna run this till I die and then we'll speed it up. Oh, man, I keep steering myself. There's Curtis. What's going on, Curtis? This looks familiar to you, I guess, since we've, we've both seen this a few times in the past couple weeks. On the Coco. It's funny, all those years I owned the Coco, I never knew this existed. It's in range, it's gonna get him. I remember when I played this before. I had a I had a message of how when I went to a certain part of the wood, I don't know what it was. Oh, oh come on! Oh God! I knew it. You can tell when you're screwed. Okay. Now, I'm going to activate the gimmick. Okay. Now, Mitsuyama, I should be able to increase the speed here. Is this correct? Too loud? No problem. I can turn it down. I've turned it down. Now, we're going to increase the speed, and we're going to return. Yes, full speed ahead. Okay. So, that, I did it. Tell me, I assume I did it the correct way. Kimston, here we go. Okay. Now, I can't. Can you guys see a difference there? That was, I went up one level. I will go up another level. I mean, it feels good. Okay. Let's go up here. The sound is higher pitched. Okay. So we're going here. I do hear the sound. I really hear it now. Oh. I will say I'm, I'm doing a lot better than I was. That's for darn sure. I think it's neat that you can change this on the fly. I'm going to change it back down here in a second. We'll see if we can see. I'm going to see if I can tell the difference. It's funny. You'd think I would notice it, but I was, I've was, i been so intent on killing people that I haven't really paid attention to how fast things are going. So I'm going to... I'm now taking note. Okay. 
Now, here we go. We're going back down to the original speed. Oh, big difference in the sound. I, yeah, I can't see a ton of speed difference. But there, yeah, I can definitely, there, I mean, because I'm at top speed, and this is, is significantly slower. Yeah, yeah. By the way, it's better faster. I have to say, that was a good call. I think I saw some when I was looking at videos on the FPG. I'm going to pop out of this. I got another one I want to try, and I remember seeing somebody do it, so we'll try it on here. If I've got the actual ROM. I saw a guy playing OutRun. I think that would be a good candidate to try. So let's let's nose over to OutRun here. If I've got it. Let's see here. I don't have it. Rats. Okay, crap. I was hoping I have a good card game on here. Well, let's try. Does, does anyone know of a game that runs particularly slow? And maybe we can... Oh, God. Slap fight. Elite. Excellent choice, if I have it. Let's see if we can find it. Look at you guys. Great minds think alike, eh? Oh, I do have it, too. Okay. Tapper? Okay, we'll try that one next, Boaster. Okay, there's your Elite. Let's just look at this rotating image and see what makes a difference. So there's... Everyone take note, rotating image. Have a good look at it. I'm going to hit the... Let's go up to 14 and return. Now, can anyone tell any difference? Let's crank it up all the way. Is it faster? My God, I can't. You guys are just better at sitting this than me. Okay. Up, loading it up. Hey, Mr. A. Bam. Oh, it's trying to get me to okay. Exit. Yeah, I can't see a whole lot of difference. <laughs> maybe you maybe you would think that. I can't even get this thing to start. Oh, here we go. All right, there we go. So there's your star field. Let's see here. I believe. I'm not sure I've ever played this one here. Well, the heck with this. I give up. Try something else. I didn't see a huge speed difference on that one. Let's try Tapper. Hey, what's going on, Graham? Puppy proofing offense. <laughs> Graham, we are trying games on the ZX Next as uh, simulated by the Unamiga. I'm not sure what you call it. There's a lot of emulation going on. Okay. Yeah. Well, they've got other things you can try. I was going to... I was pondering that, actually. Let's see if we've got Tapper on here. I see some good candidates, though. I also went right past it, didn't I? Let's see what we got here. Oh, no Tapper, boat. I'm sorry. I apologize. I can get this stuff on here. What about Turbo... Eh, I don't remember that one being... Let's try, um, oh god, Street Hawk, Space Harrier. I'm not a fan of this game, but this might be kind of a neat one to fool around with. Ah, that's lovely. Isn't that nice? Okay. Uh, select Joystick. Kempston. Enter. Start game. Okay, let's see how this runs. A 
Well, <laughs> it's a long story. Uh, this, this is the... Doug hasn't done this yet. This is uncharted ground. Doug they did do the Amiga. He did do the NES, but he never fooled with the ZX Next or the MSX. And I, part of the reason I ordered this hat was to get Next. I, I need my ZX because I've got nothing. So, and so this has been a real boon for me, but he wasn't in that big a hurry to fool with it. Okay. So that's it. That's running. That, that's surprisingly, that's pretty good, isn't it, guys? I mean, what do you think of that? I know I suck, but it, pretty good effect. It's it, the problem is you get things get lost in all the blue. One problem, but it's okay. So I'm gonna hit the button. Let's see if we can get some sweet action here. Okay. Yeah, this isn't bad. Forty-eight. I agree. Now, I don't, I'm seeing a little to no difference. So what we're going to do is, I saw another gimmick in here, and it was settings, uh, general. And so we can actually turn the timings and stuff up. So let's see what we our options are here. This could be for, I'm not exactly sure what this does. To be honest with you. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. You can see you can turn scan lines. That may have just been strictly for... I mean, who knows, guys? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, I, again, that looks about the same. It's not bad, though. Yeah, and there are different, you can run different core net ZX types. I haven't fooled with it much, but it's something you can do. I saw it in the opening. What you've got here, these are, these are Z Z80 files mostly. You know, that's surprisingly, that's not bad. It's amazing. If you ever, if there was ever a computer that needed to be under the phrase, work with what you've got, it would be the Spectrum. They, they really... <laughs> they, they managed to... <laughs> they could do more with little than you've ever seen. Let's have another go here. So the speed increase... I've heard... But I mean, I've heard this from so many people that it's a mixed bag. Um, if you look right here, I haven't done this yet, but if we hit more, you've got all this extra stuff here. You can simulate all sorts of... Uh, uh, of different uh, uh, situations with hardware. And you can also, if you go back a menu, you can also ch change your entire type of machine, uh, including Russian clones and, and that, sort of, that sort of stuff. Let's have another one then, shall we? Um, let's try Silkworm. I always like that game. If you guys think of anything you'd like to see, uh, whether it works or not, we will give it a shot. Oh, I got the okay. Good start. I'll have a look, Pix. Good to see you, my friend. There's even a gimmick where you can make it simulate loading on tape and watch the load screen, but I, I'm not 100% sure to do it. Okay, so we want four. It's already set to that, even. Oh, so we can actually, let's see, we don't want to be the Jeep, that's for darn sure, so we'll just... Oh, we're both. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. I've got to say, I've never seen that. That's a first. That's a good idea. That's a darn good idea. Listen. I, I watched that video before he sang it, and I knew that it was it was the worst kind of song. 
Because I love David Bowie, and I love that song. I love that song. And so, yeah, it was a he was a hack job. He's got no excuses. Now, I didn't see the... Uh, that's strange. I didn't see the invincibility thing pop up out of that. This is running slower. Hopefully, we can make that run better. But it actually looks pretty good. Can I get that without... I can. Okay. Oh, I forgot to keep shooting. Come on. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I must have let the other one run out. Uh, this is interesting. Did anyone ever play like this with the... <laughs> it's the craziest thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, dude. <laughs> I had a feeling when you... <laughs> Listen, it can it can be Amigo Rocks. I rock. I rock big time. Look at that. This is not bad. There's not as much... Shoot. <laughs> There's not as much real estate. Now, let's try our trick with this one. We saw the speed it goes. I would love to see one of these really speed it up. It's killing me here. So, let's go to 14. I think I that one feels a little bit quicker. It also, it also could just be... You think it should be faster. <laughs> you know. <laughs> or it could just be I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my. You've got certainly got the drum kit for it, dude. And the skills to pay the bills. We got a lot of talented uh, musicians in the uh, in the community, and then there's a few of us that have no talent, no discernible talent. I didn't realize that the Jeep would be able to make it this far. I'm impressed. Wait a minute, I gotta fight this sucker again? That guy's a cakewalk. Yeah. Hey, maybe you're right. Again, part of it for me is I'm not as familiar with these games as you guys are, so you guys have a better idea of what you're looking for. That's why I was... I really wanted... In fact, I almost streamed earlier this week because I wanted to get other people's opinions... I'd like to get on sometime when, uh, like, there's more people awake overseas that can really show me. But you guys are helping me out just by giving me your input. Come on. Yeah. This is great. I really like this. This is quite good. Me and the Brent tear this game up. He's a, We're a good team. Brent is very skilled at playing the Jeep. I, gotta, I will say, he, he can go to work on that Jeep. And most people can't. Yeah, you might be right, Curtis. I know there are ways around it. Without, I, I, you know, once I get a manual or some guidance, I'll run another stream where I know what I'm doing, and we'll, and then we'll try some real crazy stuff. But I'm just, ha I'm just, I'm really happy you get to play some Spectre stuff. You know, we've been doing the Spectre for a long time and having no hardware to play it on. I, I just never felt comfortable with the emulators I got. Uh, I'll, and this makes it a lot easier. Much like the Unamiga. I mean, I've got tons of Amigas, but it's, it 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 runs nice and crisp, but it's always at my, at my beck and call without all the extra pains in the butt. On the flip side, I'm getting ready to do some major cool stuff to the 1000. I don't know if you guys watched the show tonight, but it, uh, um, we had a lot of... We had a lot of... Uh, technical difficulties. I was thinking as we were covering the Amiga show uh, that uh, uh, was just came out. He did that whole show on Amiga. I think to myself, maybe that's the way we should do it. We should just get rid of all the modern stuff <laughs> and play on the Amiga. You know, I think this game does anyone, can anyone confirm that this game only has the one boss? 
So we haven't seen the big tank. We haven't seen we haven't seen Jack Squat. Or the double copter. So I'm gonna go on the assumption that this thing's just got the one boss. That's a bummer, because otherwise it's a pretty it's a pretty solid looking little game. Oh hey, those were new though. I'll try this level and if this doesn't do it, we'll move along. Hey, if you think if you want to think of some stuff to try, I'm more than happy to try whatever you would like to see. If I have it. And uh, if anyone knows of a nice curated collection of uh, ROMs that I could put on this thing, uh, touch up with me on Discord or at uh, argpresents at mail.com and uh, I, will, I would be much obliged. Because the uh, Tosec, it's got 4 million ROMs in it. And there are many of the same ones just over and over. Oh, what? Shoot, I lost my jeep. I must have got clipped in the tail right there. Well, this might be the last level regardless. <clears throat> I wish I got to fight one of these for real for once. A flying geese, duck, whatever you want to call them. Get out of here. Sucker's tough. He's like a. You gotta get him. See, there he is. Okay, now up the helicopter again. So yeah. My God, I could probably play this game forever if I wanted to. Well, as I die. <laughs> when am I gonna learn? <laughs> My God, I'm gonna beat him at least one more time. He's got a lot more ordnance than he's been carrying in the past couple of attempts. There he goes. There it is. Bam. All righty. I like it. That's a good one. Let's move along. I'm very pleased by that. All right. Let's try something else. That's what we've got here. Why don't we scoot back to the beginning of this list, and then we'll just kind of scoot through and hit all the highlights. You know, you guys can see this list as well. So, if you, Oh, did you want me to try Kaboom, or were you saying Kaboom? <laughs> I don't have it, but... <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. Okay. Let's get all the way back here to the beginning and just... And high points. We'll look at the high points here and see what we got. Um, look, both. They've got the Adams Family. I bet that's interesting on here. You know, I, I kind of want to play it. Let's just, I know. I'm quick on the trigger, but Boat is such a big fan of this. And Boat, you I'm sure you've tried this one. Uh, and I'm sure you either love it or hate it. So. Okay. Not bad. That sounds like the actual... Oh, yeah, that's right, dude. I thought we covered this. Let's see here. Whoops. Wow. This is hard. It's not the... I mean, it's the same song, but it's not the same... Uh, obviously, it's not as nice. This game is so hard. I don't know how you ever got anywhere on this. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! Why did I pick this? I'm an idiot. Jeez. Trust me, it's coming back to me now. Dang, got it. Oh, yeah, you can jump on some of this stuff, don't you? Yeah. But when's your speed run on this game going to be, dude? 
I know what mine is. My speed runs how quickly you can get killed. Very quickly. Never. Let's never bring that up again. No, Manic Miner is... I, I have a much better chance at Manic Miner. I can tell you that right now. All right. Let's see what else we can find here. Let's see here. Some, a lot of these things I've never heard of. <laughs> Everyone loves Adventure C. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> I don't have Tapper Boat. I told you it's not on. I don't. It's not on my list, man. When I do this again, I'll have a more complete collection. This is just the uh, stuff that I had. Let's see here. How about um, Chucky Egg? That's a good one. Bomb Jack? Oh, both of you. Okay. You know, at Bomb Jack gets a lot of press, and I don't, I don't remember if I've ever played it more than once or twice. Papyrus? Okay, I'll try that too. Oh, look at that. Now, you'll notice, now that's interesting. That one's off-center. That's the first time I've seen that. Okay, what do we got here? We want P for Kimston. Makes sense. And then player one. So all I've got to do is collect this stuff, as I recall. I remember the arcade version of this summer. I mean, and I think there's a in there an NES version of this as well. Troll's pretty good. Well, you can't touch anything in Bomb Jack. We learned. Okay. If I get off one level, I feel like I've done okay. Uh oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Go, go, power up. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh oh, not good. Oh, we'll try that again. I think I can do better. Let's see here. This might actually be kind of fun. Sound? You know, the sound on this isn't bad. It's not bad at all. Oh, got lucky there, I think. Oh, not there. Oh, son of a gun. Rapid. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, Mitts. Thank you. That would help. <laughs> See, it helps. I'm doing great. Made it. Okay, I'm going to get off the second level this time. I feel it in my, my bones.
Yeah. Is that next year, man? Sweet. Yeah, but give me one more man. Oh, yeah. I got extra man. I forgot. Ha! Ah! Beautiful. Yeah, this is a winner here. This is... T this is... T this is t oh! Jump too high. Damn it. Hey! Got my name in. I'll take it. I wonder if it saves this stuff. There it is. Just above Tom and Dick. <laughs> How appropriate. All right. That was a beauty. Oh, that's why it was side. Okay. It took a while for that. I understand now. That's why it was a little lopsided on the screen there. Uh, let's look. Good question. Good question. By the way, you can control all this stuff with the joystick. I don't know if I mentioned that. So let's look here. We got uh, a request for rescue on Fractalus or Coronis Rift. Okay, so let's look and see. Those are pretty advanced games. I don't see Coronis. Now, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have them. It just means I don't have them. Rescue. No, nope, afraid not. Afraid not. City Connection. Is that a? Is that actually? Let's have a look. But your obsession with that game is mystifying. And you know I don't like it. But by God, I'll play it. Uh, sorry, Boat. Ha <laughs> ha, it's a shame. Ha ha ha, too bad, dude. Let's try Chucky Egg. Let's see if that's on here. How it works. Chucky Egg is loading. Looks like I'm going to have to play this with the old keyboard. You may change the direction and jump keys, okay. Well, let's see. See you later, Mitch. Thanks for helping, my friend. I appreciate it. Let's see if we can change the... Press S to start game. R to redefine keys. Uh-huh. R. To redefine these suckers. Oh, crap. Nope. Oh, why does it keep doing that? Let's try a different key for that. All right. Now we're ready. One player. Take it easy, Mitts. Now, what's your all's philosophy on this? Should I leave the bird seed or take the bird seed? Druncula. I've not seen you here before, but that's the finest name I've ever seen. So I'll give you... <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't know why I never thought of that, and I find it appalling that I didn't. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, let's see if I can figure out how I reset the game last time so I can reset the keys. So a mental note, you have to reset the keys every time. Why is that, Boat? All right, heck, I'm not waiting on that. Let's move along. All this stuff should support joystick. That's my. That's what I think. I haven't listened to Ten Pence for quite a while. Chucky Egg is good. You know, the BBC Micro version, I think, is quite good. This is good. Don't get me wrong. Um, If you guys see anything that jumps out at you. Are you kidding me? Dragon's Layer 2? Listen, I gotta see this. I've got to see what this is gonna be. 
it can't be a real game. Oh, we played Bruce Lee earlier, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Boat, are you seeing this? <laughs> I love it. Well, now I hit left or right and it didn't go. You'll have to. Why isn't it going? What am I doing wrong here? Okay. That's strange. It won't let me turn. So maybe I'll have to hold a button down or something. I'm dying to make this work. I'm holding the stick. I'm doing everything you can think of. It's not let me. I'm going to, so I'm going to switch to a different control mechanism here. Because I've got to play this. I was not aware of this, that this existed. And you know Dragon's Lair is, is my game. Let me get let me get back to the main menu here. Yeah, I'm not sure why the stick's not working. But by God, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Come on. Kill me already. Okay. this. Now, generally, I've noticed that the, your Q... Okay, here we go. Let's try this. It's not letting me... It's not moving me anyway. Let me try... Anybody know the... Anybody have the rule book handy for this thing to, 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 so I can get the... Uh... I'd love to play this. This is definitely one I want to play. Shoot. Well, listen, we're going to come back to this after I look at the rule book sometime. Because that's just outstanding. The fact that they that they released that on the Spectrum and they just generated it all through graphics, that makes me happy. Incredibly happy. That is right up my alley. So that's neat. I wonder if they did Dragon's Lair 1 as well. That'd be cool to see too. Let's see here. Um... What do we got here? All right, me and Brick covered this on the ARG a while back. Eight, pretty neat game. Um, let's see here, we've played some of these. Jetpack Willy, Jetpack, great game. Of course, Lords of Chaos, an all-time classic. Let's see, Midnight Resistance, we played that. Ninja Scooter Simulator, we played that. Let's have a look at Ninja Scooter Simulator. See if I remember how to play it. Yeah, I don't... I, Curtis, I'm not sure, man. I'm going to look it up because I was just didn't know if the controller was working. Could put that, that's that's outstanding. Okay, so we got the camp scenario set up. And then we want one player. Oh, I gotta move it down now. Okay. There we go. Oh, shoot. All right. It, yeah. There's. It takes some timing. I'll get it. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Start me off here. Why don't you? Holy cow! Yes. That is going. Hey, listen. This is a simulator, man. I've often wondered what it was like to drive one of these ninja... Be a ninja to drive a scooter. Oh. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Not the best round, I'll grant you, but still. Here we go.
Rad. Ah. Oh. I hate those stupid holes. There we go. Hey, that wasn't bad. <laughs> I remember really liking this game. I hate to say it. Look at that. I hope Boat's seeing this. Oh! Look at that. Oh, cheap shot. Come on, get up. Damn. I hate those stupid things. Get up. Go, go, go. Oh, I missed the ramp. I needed that so bad. There it is. Hey, come it. Cheap place to put a wall. Well, come on, rip off is a harsh word. I mean, it's also it's pretty. It's not. It doesn't really play very much like that game. I mean, I will say that I, I can see where you'd get that, but it. Damn it. Anytime you see those, come on, I need that. Oh damn, that was tricky the way they had that laid out there. If you get going, you can really get some good air in this. It's funny, I think my worst round was the first round. I've done better after every round. Oh, I need that. No, not at that. Oh, God, no. Oh, stupid walls. Oh, this is. Oh, these guys suck. These undead skateboarders. I mean, I am just cr getting crushed here. This level is the my. I always have trouble. Yeah, that little thing can go. Look at that! Oh, what killed me? What killed me? Oh, look at this. Who's navigating that? Honestly. Jump. Ah. I felt pretty good about that. I'm, I'm not going to lie. All right. We've got time for a couple more here. Again, if there's anything anybody would like to see... I don't know how many of you guys are are big ZX fans, but if there's anything you'd like to see, I'm more than happy to play it for you. I'm just kind of buzzing through these, and if I've got it, I'll play it. That's a fun one, though. Oh, man. Well done, dude. Yeah, the Z80 ran a bunch of stuff, dude. Let's see here. Shadow Warriors. Is that the ninja one? Night Shift? It's a great movie, Ricky, if you've never seen it. LM. I, I don't have it. I, I'm going to go back and look at this, and I'll write down all the stuff everybody's requested I didn't have. This is literally a smattering. It's only a couple hundred ROMs. Let's try... Is, let me see if this is the... Uh, the ninja game that I'm familiar with uh, from the Amiga. The Ninja Gaiden. I will say this. Uh, while we... Oh, it is. It is. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's next on the docket, dude. Uh, I've, I've been pleased that these have all worked per... You know, all the old games have ran great, which is really what I wanted this for, so... I've got no complaints. I wonder if you can set up your joystick on this. It might not let me play with a stick. Shoot. 
I got to try with it. Well, I'll just quickly try it to what it looks like. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's always it's always hunt the hunt the buttons on this thing. Okay. That's diagonal. And then usually left. Yeah, here we go. Left and right. Yeah, that's and then fire is usually and we'll figure it out. Come on. What's the traditional fire button? Anybody want to help me out? I know they have one that usually they usually use. Jump to my death. God damn it! I'm I'm sad that this doesn't support the joystick. You could set this stuff up to you can emulate the joystick. Space or M. Not this time, I'm afraid. You know, I'm hoping that like they've got a. Uh, They've got a there's a shortcut to get the joystick working this, I'm hoping. Oh well. So let's be let's have a look at Raider Moscow. You know, John, you're gonna need to come into our Discord. There are a lot of musicians in there. I mean good ones. <laughs> Just like yourself. They know they know all about that sort of thing. Lord knows you've earned it. You need to get in there. Okay. Let's see if we got Radar or Moscow in here. I'm hoping you saw it when you called it out. Ah! There it is. Bam. Try it. Bruce Carvers. Okay, we want to have... Now we want to have, let's see here, skill level. Let's try this. I don't know if I've ever, I know I've heard of this game, and I may have tried it at some point, but I don't remember it. Sign on, Commander. Boy, they already had a built-in name. Press a key. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this plane to take off. Oh, I, I'm duh. I forgot. I'm hitting the door. It's very similar to a form, but it's in real time. Trust me, John. You would really enjoy it. It would broaden your horizons, I assure you. Because we've got a real good community on there. Open the doors. Open the doors. Open the doors. Yes! What an odd thing to have to do. Oh, drunk, Drunkula, you're just in time. I've got only a vague idea of what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I've got to get these planes out the door. Open the door. Open the door! Oh, this is sort of like Beachhead or something, isn't it? No, 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 no. It's like they looked, they watched the launch sequence on Rocket Ranger and, they, and said, hold my beer. No, open the door. No, open the door.
Let's just assume that this guy made it. Oh! I think you have to pull down to, uh, to open the door. Yeah. So I have figured that out. No. No, no. No, no, no. Son of a <laughs> Well, <laughs> this doesn't look good. <laughs> good. Maybe that's a uh, some sort of fruit basket that they've dropped. Unless they're making me. I just assumed that was a nuke of some sort. So, hey, maybe the game's not over. Nope. Damn it. Okay, let's try it. Let's do this. Let's not do this dumb guy style. Let me take a moment here. I know how to open a door now. Okay, let's line this thing up. Open the door. Open the door. It didn't open. All right. Sorry. Can't take any more of that one. <laughs> the thing's killing me. That would require me to look something up. That's a couple of these. Hey, I'm, I'll learn. I don't mind. Let's do... Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Let's do two more here. We'll do this one plus one more. Um, let's see here. If you see anything that jumps out at you, feel free to, uh... Kind of looking for something that's, uh... Let's see here. World Series Baseball. That's surprising. Wacky darts. Oh, way of the exploding fist. Let's have, that, let's have a shot at that. All right, we'll end it with wacky darts, the crabs. Okay. Oh, it detected the stick. That's good. It just won't let me move. Maybe it didn't detect the stick. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out how to do anything here. Oh, what a jerk. Rebel Star, eh? All right, man. Hey, uh, Drunkula, if, I don't know if you're... I don't recall seeing you before, but... Me and the, my buddy, The Boat, do a show called R. Sinclair. It's on our Amigos ready, uh, our Amigos uh, Gaming Network on YouTube and on this channel. Pop by sometime and check us out. We uh, just try different Sinclair games. We're, Of course, this is a foreign system to us, and we're still learning. I mean, a lot. But uh, we play, we've played a lot of games. It's funny, I can't seem to get this thing to start. What you're supposed to hit. I don't think I was supposed to hit whatever I just hit, though. What did I do? Oh, I just started over. Oh, look. I'm glad that came up, actually. So, check this out. This is where you could load the different cores. Oh, I can't do it on here. Rats. I can only do it on the next. I was wondering if it would let me. Good to know. If you have an actual next, you could load up all kinds of crazy uh, cores. So we'll just let this load up as normal. This is the way it, this is booting from Jump Street. That's that that was that screen you just saw. So clearly I did like a, a hard reset there. Inadvertently, we've learned. All right, we're going to end the night with wacky darts here. Wacky darts. I can't 
can't turn down darts after we played darts on the Amiga. Who was the famous Jackie um Jockey Wilson. Jockey Wilson's darts. I like Jockey. He sings, he's wacky, he drinks. Uh it was sort of depressing to see how his career went down, but uh still we had a lot of fun learning about him. Um uh, let's see. I wonder if I can change these. Q A O P. So that's the standard gimmick in space bar. So we're gonna go with it here. Now I don't know how to I don't recall the oh wheelie, okay. I don't recall the rules of darts. So I'm just gonna try to sort of like hit the board here and see how we do. When we did darts, I remember them, but I don't remember them now. Oh, that looks pretty cool. It seems this seems familiar to me. We may have tried this at some point. Here's what I like about British darts. This is exactly wacky Jockey Pilsner. Wacky characters. Much the same way I like Snooka when we learned about Snooka. Uh, it's just a, the what I like is the wackiness of it. Uh, it's funny. I was listening to Pixel Guide in, and they had a question come up, and I knew the answer was crooked because we covered a crooked game on Amigos. So I've learned a lot. I've been paying a little bit of attention. All right, so I think I need to put another one in that same area, right? Wow, well, I can't believe that worked. I know you want to get more on the, the there's a on the big scores up like up here, I believe, as I recall. Let's see if we can get one up there. Ooh, I missed the board completely. You won't see a lot of triple twenties uh, tonight. This is very similar to Jockey Wilson. The whole uh, move, the actually this looks. This looks substantially more interesting than Jockey Wilson. I can tell you that right now. Because this has a lot more character. Jockey Wilson had a little character. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's something else I like about darts. You can show up, get liquored up, be a big fat tub. It's the sport I was made for. Alright, I'm the humanoid. Let's see if we can... Okay, I'm going to take... Advice of Druncula. Too high, they got it. It's hard to hit that little thing. Oh, that's the worst you could put. It. That's bad. Uh huh. Okay. And double middle range trail, huh? Okay. <laughs> it's a shame Boat's not still in here. He would just eat this with a spoon. <laughs> He'd love to spread it. I like the guy, the dude peeking out of the toilet. <laughs> That's good stuff there. I like the I like the fact anybody in here a dart thrower. You know? If I whenever if I ever get over to the UK I'll be heading over to the pub and getting some of this action. Oh, God. Triple one. Oh, too high. Way too high. The hand is so wacky. Not the best. I'm getting creamed. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm actually doing okay. No, oh, that's brutal. That's awesome, but brutal. <laughs> I've had one of those lame dart boards that had like the the ball ends on it, you know, the safety dart thing, you know. But those are so weak. No one wants those. You want the real ones. All right, here we go. It's all to play for. I love that she's a dart champ. That's tough, though. Hey, I gotta ask, were her, was she still best friends with that chick after the deal went down? I could see that be kind of, be the kind of thing that could end your friendship. 
Oh, too hard. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Oh, God, Velcro. Is that the one that had the Velcro was on the end of the darts, and then it was also on the board? I've seen, I remember those. That's awesome, dude. It's funny, you're... I'm assuming, Drunk, you know that you're in the UK somewhere. Uh, you guys, the pub scene, especially probably when your mom was around back in the day, when she was a younger lady throwing darts, it was a whole different ball game than what we had going on here in the States. You know, we didn't get that. It was a whole different atmosphere. Yeah. I still go back and watch. I, when we were doing uh, Jimmy White for the Amiga, I watched a lot of Snooka. And I still go back and occasionally watch the Snooka highlights. And I also like watching those sports shows, the pub sports. Those were so cool. We had lamer stuff, you know, in the States. You know. Mr. T came out of one of those bar sport things. It was like a tough guy thing. He had to, I remember to win the event, he had to break through a door and uh, and he had to rip something off the wall or something, break through a door, and he had to bring a bell on the other side of this door. I remember watching when he did it, and he actually ran through the door, and he, he hit the bell so hard that he broke the bell off the wall. When he did it, it was a bar room thing. It was like the toughest bouncer competition or something like that. And he went on the fame, international fame. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm still getting Murgatroyd here. I need to rally big time. Come on. Maybe I should try to aim something a little more easier to get. Because when you move his hand up, it really goes up to hurt. Come on. <laughs> it was a big deal back in the day. You know, when I was a younger guy, when I was a kid, pool was a pretty big deal. Like, we had uh, guys that we knew that played pool over here. And then, uh, eventually, there was a couple, there have been a couple payments. Uh, I'm trying to, I know, of course, uh, uh, Minnesota Fats was the one that comes to mind. And there was a, uh, I'm trying to think of this guy's name. It was like Menzurik or, uh, it'll hit me. But there was, an, there was another guy that was a pretty sort of famous. There were like three pool players I could name, you know, back in the day. Pool, but much like a lot of stuff in the States, it just, that sort of went away. No one got, no one really. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I've never had enough jack to have my own pool cue. That's a big comeback right there, fellas. I'm still in this sucker with a chance. Over here, I don't know how it was over in, in the UK, but pool halls were sort of looked frowned upon over here as like dingy, cigarette-y, nasty, drunken jerk holes. Much and funny, much like arcades were for the longest time until they become kidified. Okay, it's all to play for. I can take this to the to the bank, the money bank, right now. All I need to do is get these seventy-two points. A hush falls over the drunken louts. Oh, not good start. That's okay, I can recover. Come on. Oh, dang it. I left the door open here. Well, you know, yeah, they've changed because they're all gone. <laughs> yeah. I remember as a kid, we actually, I actually saw snooker tables over here. Like, there was, there, they were here. 
Like, you... I don't know where you'd see one now. Ever. Yeah, no kidding, John. Um, you know, arcades changed a lot when they... After the early 80s, they were a lot different. I mean, I'm old enough... Heck, I can take this to the house right now, even with a mediocre round. I love it. I could actually win one. I could finally win it something on... Thank God I'm recording this. Oh, yeah. A what? Oh, I went over, didn't I? I've got to hit the... Oh, Dead gun, I forgot about that. Yeah, Archer McLean's uh, Arcade Poison. So it it's great. Outstanding game. And then Jimmy, Wa uh, Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooka is a game. But I believe Jimmy White has an, uh, a, a pool game as well, like a, a later release. Okay. So I've got to hit something here. I've got to stay below my limit here. That was too far below my limit, but at least I... There it is. Okay. So I need to hit a... Uh, what, I need a two? Oh, it! Okay. I can still take it. I can imagine, yeah. Oh, man. Too bad, pal. Hit the road. All right. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I love it. You're all witnesses. <laughs> Woo! It's the greatest win of my career, right there. If only I'd spelled my name correctly. Dead gummit. There it is. I like that. Beautiful, man. Listen, I, you know me. I like to go out on a high note. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, fellas. Hey, listen. I had a lot of fun trying out some uh, ZX Next, ZX Spectrum on the Unamiga. I, uh, yes, that's me, Arrow the Humanoid. I, uh, we had some ups and we had some downs. Uh, we had some quick starts and some slowdowns, but I think we had a good time. I sure appreciate you guys holding my hand as I enter the valley of the ZX, having my own here in the old FPGA. I'm proud to report that the as a ZX Spectrum uh, simulator, this thing seems to work tops. I just loved it. It was so great. I had so much fun. And once I tinker with this thing and learn all the little secrets, uh, we'll be back. For some more sweet action. Yeah. You, I like that. Amiga! Uh, and uh, we will try to have another go. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys. Hey, got a busy weekend this weekend. If you're feeling froggy, uh, tomorrow night uh, at 7, 7 or 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, it will be a happening as the Team Speaker regulars meet once again over on the ARG Presents channel of Twitch. ARG Presents, all one word. We'd load if you'd follow us over there. We'll get into five or six hours of nonstop live gaming. Gaming is where we encourage you, the viewers, to come and join us. We'll have the TeamSpeak server up and running, and if anybody wants to come in and play with us, uh, we're more than happy to get you guys in. Uh, we would also like to uh, uh, have you guys join us uh, on Sunday morning, where myself and the Brent, the mysterious the Brent, uh, we'll be coming back on this channel right here, uh, Amigos Retro Gaming Channel, for ARG Presents. This week, we're doing, uh, ironically, we're doing games on the Timex Sinclair 1000, the U.S. release of the old ZX81. And we're going to kick the uh, can, kick the uh, uh, wheels on this sucker, see how it goes. 
And we've picked out two games to play, and we'd appreciate it if you guys were to pop by and uh, check us out. We'd be more than happy to have you. Um, I think that's it. Appreciate. Oh, there will be drinking tomorrow night. There's no doubt. I should mention that if you join us tomorrow night for the live modern streaming, uh, we work a little blue on that show. There will be adult conversations, and there will be adult beverages. And again, anyone can come in. And if you want to come in and chat, you're more than welcome. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, popping in. We had a good crowd in here tonight. Uh, and we'll be back next Friday with another Amiga Aaron live stream. I'll figure out what it's going to be the night before, just like I always do. So until then, thank you very much. And I bid you guys a fond adios.